Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Um, yeah, meron lang kami good news guys, lalo lalo na sa mga in, uh, international student dyan. So actually, kalalabas lang kaninang maga ba? Tama? Yes. Yan. So yun. Uh, Siyempre, bago ko i-ano yun, kasi wala talaga akong alam about dun sa news na yun, pinagit na sa akin ang asawa ko. Nagulat lang ako kagabi pagdating ko ng trabaho. Sabi niya nga, may good, may good news nga daw sa sa mga international student. So, syempre guys, papakilala ko muna sa inyo yung aking asawa. Mm. Siya yung student dito sa amin. So, ako yung OWP, open work permit ako, at siya yung nag-aaral. So, siya yung magkukwento guys, ha? hindi ako kasi wala talaga akong alam. So, nagulat lang ako. Pero, syempre, masaya kami kasi maganda yung news guys. Maganda. Sobrang maganda talaga yung um, balitang dumating ngayong araw na to. October na pa ngayon? 7. October 7 guys, yun. So, yun. Um, lipat ko na sa kanya guys, pero dito lang ako sa tabi niya. Ito yung aking asawa, si Emma Ruby Aprado. Yan. <laughs> yan. So, siya lahat guys ang may gawa na to, kaya kung ba't kami nandito sa Canada. Okay? So, baby, ano ba yung news na yan? Ayun, yun nga. So, pakilala rin muna ulit ako. So, mm. sabi niya nga, international student ako. Um, we're here at Calgary. I'm studying at SAFE or the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology. I'm taking up the Diploma uh, Program of Legal Assistant. Okay? So that's a two-year program. Mm -hmm. So para ginul din kasi namin na at least afterwards, you'll be availing the three-year post-graduation permit rather than risking oh, pero, uh, one year certificate program and one year PGW. Yeah, pero baby, bago, bago may kwento yun, di ba? Legal assistant ka ngayon. Ano ba yung una mong <laughs> ano, yung unang course mo talaga na bago tayo dumating dito? Okay, yung in-apply ko talaga sa study plan ko or SOP is a business administration uh, program sa SAIT because uh, na-qualified waitlist ako sa Legal Assistant Program. So, the very uh, program that I really want is the Legal Assistant because related siya sa profession mm. ko. But, since sobrang limited lang ng offering noon hindi ako na-qualify. And, buti na lang sa SAIT, we're, we're allowed to choose two courses. Yeah. Tapos, dun lang magbe-base si, si SAIT kung ano yung i-release niyang LOA or the Letter of Acceptance. So, mm. Um, during our application, what uh, was approved uh, to me is the business administration program. So, yun yung na-release niyang LOA. So, because of that, doon ako nag-base ng SOP. But the good news is, yun nga, mm. so blessing in this case. Pagdating, pagdating namin dito guys yeah. sa Canada, siguro parang September yeah, 6 ba? I was able to do one day of class in mm. business administration program oh. and then Sate emailed me asking, oh, are, are you still interested in joining the legal assistant program? Because uh, there is uh, there are offered seats now. Mm -hmm. So, can you confirm within like three days? Yeah. So, of course, I eagerly conf uh, confirmed and then, uh, although with a heavy heart, kasi meron rin na, na rin ako mga friends sa business administration program, I, I have to leave that program mm -hmm. because I have to take this legal assistant program which is closer to my heart. So, kahit na nakaten na ako ng one day of class sa business administration, so I was accommodated and transferred the next day to the legal assistant program. Mm -hmm. Actually, guys, nasa Pilipinas pa kami, may group na sila, may group chat na sila. <laughs> yung mga business ad na yun, uh, dun pa lang nag-uusap-usap na sila. Tapos pagdating dito, ilang araw lang? Isang araw lang ba? Isang araw o, lang. Isang araw lang, nag-switch agad siya sa ano, legal assistant. So, maganda rin. At least yeah. related din kasi sa kanya talaga yan. Yes. Ayun. Yeah, so, yun, uh, regarding the changing of programs, so we are allowed to change uh, programs within the same DLI or the Designated Learning Institution which is within the school. So the Designated Learning Institution here is SAIT. So I'm allowed to do that uh, without the need of notifying our IRCC because we only need to notify IRCC if we are changing uh, DLIs within Canada. So I, ako, ang ginawa ko lang, change of program within the same school. But still, just to be sure and to be safe even if there's no need for me to notify kasi nag-change ako ng program I still emailed mm -hmm. so para rin safe tayo kahit na uh, under their rules I'm not required mm -hmm. yeah okay and then balik tayo yun na nga eh, so, so ano ba yung good tayo? news guys <laughs> yeah. na, yan, yung mga, mga nagbabalak nyo nagpa-plan na mag-international student dito sa Canada 
So, may good news talaga guys. But actually kami natuwa din kasi kami. Talagang malaking tulong siya sa amin guys. Kasi, um, yun. Kung baby, kwento mo na. <laughs> Uh, the good news is international students like me are now allowed to do uh, more than 20 hours of work per week. So meaning we can do like 30 hours, 40 hours, or even 50 hours if you can. But still, we are studying. Kaya dapat we, we need to balance pa rin kung ano yung kakayanin. But ang nakakatuwa doon is hindi na tayo limited sa 20 hours. So if you have that... Um, very pretty schedule, sobrang luwag ng schedule nyo uh, for that course or program, then that's good for you or perfect for you. Kami parang, okay, masaya din. At least, uh, hindi na kami kakabakaba if uh, we will, uh, I will exceed this um, limitation. Pero syempre, I, I still have to consider because we have a one-year-old baby. Mm. So, it, it will not work for us talaga na magsobra-sobra sa time because, yun nga, we, we still still uh, have to do the alternate schedules. Oh. Okay, wala pa kami kasing like uh, na, natatanungan na daycare for our baby for, in order for us to mahal work. Tayo, no? mahal, mahal. Well, we'll still have to research oh. because alam din naman namin na friendly ang um, environment and atmosphere dito hmm. sa sa Calgary. So, I, I it decipher natin yan oh. uh, later on oh. tapos may flash namin guys yung ano di ba parang may meron pa tayong site na talagang talagang ipapakita yeah. natin talagang totoo yung ano ay yung announcement yun. oh. so ito ay flash, flash namin, namin dyan. this is an announcement mm -hmm. made uh, by our immigration minister Sean Fraser mm -hmm. so kanina lang umaga lumabas although meron ng hula hula kagabi na mm -hmm. oh si, uh, si immigration minister there will be an announcement tomorrow pero yun na rin kasi no oh, para kasi nag short nga kasi guys sa ano ngayon sa, sa mga, labor oh, so okay. there's uh, a growing concern for labor shortages in Canada. Mm. That's why the immigration minister is uh, like forced to, to do or open these opportunities uh, to international students. Yeah. yeah. Sobrang ganda ng news talaga na yan. Pero syempre, kailangan pa rin talaga i-balance pag nandito na. Lalo't pag may mga anak kayong kasama. Like, katulad nga kami, sabi nga nung asawa kanina, meron kaming baby pa talaga. Tapos, ang nangyayari ngayon, kasi nga, medyo pangit pa talaga guys yung schedule ko, di ba nabanggit ko naman sa inyo before, siya yung nag-aalaga talaga sa morning. Tapos, ang pasok ko kasi 12.30 to 9. So, pero nagpa-request naman ako ng maga para at least siya naman yung makapagtrabaho sa gabi. No? Okay. So, yeah, ang gagawin natin, hmm. i-enumerate natin yung requirements oh, yeah, and yeah, the, yeah. the rules hmm. para mas maintindihan ano ba kung kailan ba to magiging effective oh, yeah. and and until when oh, so this um, pilot program or the opportunity for the um, international students to work for more than 20 hours per week will start on November 15 2022 mm -hmm. until December 31 of next year which is 2023 so, so one year lang siya guys uh, more than one year oh, so one, one year, year. One, one year, year one month, one month. <laughs> na opportunity to for us to work for more than the usual uh, hours which is the 20 hours per week so we can work full time somehow so as a rule guys um, international students are only allowed to work uh, up to 20 hours a week so while classes are ongoing um, they are allowed to work more than that um, e, during uh, like study breaks like win winter and summer mm -hmm. break and even reading week but i have not yet encountered the reading week because this is just my first um semester so may encounter ko yan later on but yun lang yung mga allowed uh, period of time na pwedeng mag-exceed ang international student dati uh for more than 20 hours mm. pero now with this news starting november 15 okay until december uh, November 15, 2022 until December 31, 2023, we can work for more than 20 hours uh, a week. So what's the limit? Okay, if that's more than 20, what's the limit? There's none. Okay, you can mm -hmm. work uh, like 30 hours a week, even 40, 40 hours, hours a week. week. Yes, yes. But yun nga, as we what I have said earlier. You should be mindful that you as an international student has a greater duty mm -hmm. na mag-aral talaga. Lalo na kapag nagdelikado tayo sa isang subject mm -hmm. or, or so. Kasi if we will not be 
uh, able to maintain our full-time status. So the full-time status is uh, defined differently by um, the schools. So depending if the school uh, defines a full-time status as a student taking up three um, subjects or more or four subjects or more so it depends so that part is that you have to maintain your full-time status mm -hmm. every sem except on the last sem kasi pwede na ring hindi ka na full-time status on your last term dahil nga naubos na yung subjects mo and you are just finishing the remaining ones so thus you have to be careful na ma-maintain mo pa rin yung pagiging full-time student mo mm -hmm. dahil kapag na lose mo yung pagiging full time student mo and nag-focus ka so work Stop work up. work oh, oh. nag enjoy ka na dahil wala ngang limit mm -hmm. ngayon so you will not be able or you will no longer be authorized to work okay so you have to balance kahit na inalaw tayo na mag-work now for more than 20 hours okay we still have to balance that with our st um, studies because we still have to maintain our full time uh, status in our school. Mm. Okay. Kaya yun nga guys, ba balance rin talaga. Hindi pwedeng puro trabaho lang dahil dahil nga na approved na mas mat kailangan yung magtrabaho na mas marami. Sasagarin niyo yun. Kaya dapat balance din talaga. Pero mas dapat mas priority niyo pa rin yung pag-aaral kaysa sa trabaho. And also guys, just a reminder that this uh, temporary policy will only apply to those international students already uh, studying here in Canada. So, pasok ako doon. Uh, ay, pag yung bagong parating. <laughs> De, aside, pangalawa yun. Ah, okay. So, pangalawa, pangalawa, those who have already uh, approved visas, hmm. pero parating pa lang ng Canada. Ah, okay. And pangatlo, yung mga kakasubmit pa lang ng application today. So that is oh, until ganun. October 7, 2022. Oh, so you can find that announcement so all over the news and even in the that Twitter of IRCC. Yeah. So I I have also read some concerns kasi nga syempre, what if I have applied kinabukasan or October 8 uh, will I be no longer qualified na so mm -hmm. temporary policy na yan so as of now with the with the announcement so not yet mm -hmm. okay so kasi you have to comply with the rules because as ang inannounce ni um, immigration minister until um, the the date na October 7 you you have to submit your application mm, so okay. maybe later on there will be an extension uh -huh. but we're hoping hopefully mm. yes uh, it will be extended to co cover those students who will be submitting their applications after October 7 uh, okay. but as of now what In has palang. been uh. announced is that you have to be an international student here mm -hmm. or you have already an approved visa okay. pero parating pa lang ng Canada okay. or you you have submitted your application and waiting for approval so you wait uh, as of today okay okay so, so yun sana clear yun sa inyo guys ah baka kasi pero research din kayo guys kailan yun rin yeah. research para mas sigurado di ba? yeah just a disclaimer that mm. we are not immigration consultants oh, yun nga pala. so we're just sharing our experiences and sharing the good news mm. and then yeah first time ko mag join sa vlog ni Alvin just yeah. to kasi nga Actually, gusto guys, niya international student eh ako hindi ko naman may explain sa inyo kasi hindi naman ako yung nakapagbasa talaga nung, ano, nung news nabanggit yeah. niya lang sa akin kagabi pagdating ko so, pero yun, so masaya kami kasi kahit pa paano, mm, makakapag-work na siya. Yeah. Pero syempre, balance pa rin talaga kami ng dalawa kasi may baby kami. So, pinag-uusapan pa namin ngayon, pinagpaplanuhan pa namin kung ano yung magiging strategy namin. Yeah. Pero at least, di ba, allowed na siya ng 8 hours a day. Yeah, yeah as of good. now, wala pa akong work. <laughs> mm, ako pala, kasi ang pangit pa kasi kayo yung schedule ko talaga, di ba, nabanggit ko naman sa inyo before. Kaya, yun, wait, wait na lang siguro ako, siguro ma, hanggang next week. Pag naging morning na ako, so siya yung magiging trabaho siguro hapon hanggang gabi. Kasi ang class mo, baby, ang ganang oras. May 3 p.m. kayo, no? Yeah, may 3, 3 Misa kasi, guys, may 3 p.m. siya na class. Kaya, so dapat after pa nun. Yeah, and yung setup kasi namin, mm. um, he works like 12.30 until 9, 9. p.m. Mm. And then may pasok ako 
ng usually 8, 8. to 3. Mm -hmm. uh, that's scattered schedule, Monday to Friday. But the good thing is, another blessing, before tayo pumunta dito, blessing na yon, mm -hmm. na there's a temporary policy again that we can do on online classes Ayun, oh. starting September 2022 until August 2023. Oh, yun, 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 okay. yun guys yung naging maganda rin sa amin kasi yeah. online siya. Yeah. yeah, we can do this online class uh, without af affecting our PGWP. Oh, yun, yun yung maganda doon. Kasi, kayo. again, ang rule, ang dami temporary policies talaga ngayon mm -hmm. na that the immigration is deviating from the normal rules. But, of course, these temporary policies are, of course, beneficial to us. Especially sa amin na mm -hmm. kami, may baby kami. Uh, I'm doing the online class uh, just inside her home and while taking care of my baby. So, that's the best setup for us now. Mm -hmm. So, I, I don't know if that will be extended because the August, uh, the September 2022 to August 2023 online class uh, allowance was just an extension. Mm -hmm. Nagnyari na yan from, from 2020 to 2022. And I'm thankful na next extension from 2022 to 2023. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yun nga. After 2023 to 2024, may, uh, kasi ganun pa rin yung, yung diploma program ko, mm. I'll, I have to do na the face-to-face. -face. Wow. But uh, j uh, next year pa next naman year pa yun, naman yun. So, we can prepare uh, for the perfect setup for yeah, us. Tama, tama, tama. Kaya yun guys, uh, kaya sa inyo, yung mga nagbabalak nga, or yung, alam mo yun, papunta na rito. Basta guys, research lang din talaga kayo lagi. Kami, ganun din kami nag-umpisa. Nag nood lang din kami sa mga YouTube marami guys mga vlogger dyan na magagaling sila yung nag uh, nagsishare ng mga experience nila at saka kung paano mag apply yan paano mag basta tuturo din namin sa inyo yun guys saka uh, marami pa kaming vlog na eh, i-share sa inyo alright so okay. meron ka ba? that's it I don't know if I can again join the uh, vlog but okay. of course join yan join uh, lalakasan kasi, ko na yung love ko kasi ano pinupush niya ako mag do ng vlogs while he is mm -hmm. working oh, so oh. I can share how to do this um, study permit application mm -hmm. uh, and the like ano kasi, mga requirements kasi guys sa toa lang hindi ako hindi ko kabisado siya lahat talaga ang <laughs> uh, nagkasikaso na to so nung sa Philippines pa kami ako lang tiga drive pa, yun pagpunta kami ng mga kukuha ng mga certifi uh, birth certificate namin yan Ako yung mga ganun. Pero siya lahat talaga. If you want to, uh, for me to do the vlog, comment mm. down below. Oh, yeah, comment guys. Marami <laughs> siyang alam pagdating sa, yun, kung paano kami nakapunta rito dahil siya lahat talaga gumawa nun. Galing to eh, magaling. Tsaka guys ha, DIY lang kami. DIY, DIY. hindi kami nag-agency. Kasi ang mahal ng agency. Kaya talaga nag-research lang din talaga kami. Right. Yan, that's it for this vlog. Uh, so yan guys, hanggang dito na lang siguro yung pag-vlog namin. Medyo mahaba na rin, no? Ayan, so pinilit ko lang talaga siya. Okay? So yan yeah. guys. I'll see you next time. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> Salamat sa panonood. Bye.